Blue cap in the center is Tango and the striped hat on the stand side is Precious Moments. Then comes Jupe making ground in between horses is Sunday Sweet. They have a furling and a half to go and it is in the center. Tango coming to challenge. Roy Lafayre Sunday Sweet is coming home well in between horses. Then Love Bracelet with Albinia and then Precious Moments. They're inside the final furlong and it's Tango from Sunday Sweet. Albinia and Precious Moments as they run towards the finish and Albinia chins Tango in third is Precious Moments, then Sunday Sweet, a new dawn and love bracelet. New cap in the centre is Tango and the striped hat on the stand side is Precious Moments. Then comes Jupe making ground in between horses is Sunday Sweet. They have a furling and a half to go and it is in the centre. Tango coming to challenge. Roy Lafayre Sunday Sweet is coming home well in between horses. Then Love Bracelet with Albinia and then Precious Moments. They're inside the final furlong and it's Tango from Sunday Sweet. Albinia and Precious Moments as they run towards the finish and Albinia chins Tango in third Third is Precious Moments, then Sunday Sweet, a new dawn and love bracelet. Pushed along in between horses, Harpocrates on the left is Southern Hills and back to Brussels is making it interesting in between horses. Almost five in line as they race towards the final furlong. Spread across the track and it's Siskin on the near side who comes to pick it up from King Neptune back to Brussels. Harpocrates is next and they're being followed by Southern Hills but stretching on is Siskin and Colin Kane to remain unbeaten. Scores in the Marble Hill for Gerlines. Second is King Neptune. Third is Harpocrates then back to Brussels and Southern Hills. Pushed along in between horses, Harpocrates on the left is Southern Hills and back to Brussels is making it interesting in between horses. Almost five in line as they race towards the final furlong. Spread across the track and it's Siskin on the near side who comes to pick it up from King Neptune back to Brussels. Harpocrates is next and they're being followed by Southern Hills but stretching on is Siskin and Colin Kane to remain unbeaten. Scores in the Marble Hill for Gerlines. Second is King Neptune. Third is Harpocrates then back to Brussels and Southern Hills. With two and a half to go, Lafayette Hill challenge one from the rail by Via Deer at the pink cap. Then Lagan Gwilgan, Lady Wannabe, Valambrosa, Nelly Anthus, and then I remember you and Firefly racing just outside the furlong point. And it's Via Deer and Lady Wannabe on the outside. Lagan Gwilgan is battling on in between horses. Then I remember you as they race inside the final 200 yards. And it's on the far side, Via Deer. Stand side is Lady Wannabe and Lagan Gwilgan in between horses. That's one quick double for Colin Kanger lines via dear to the top weight beats Lady Wannabe and Lagan Goelga I remember you and Elianthus with two and a half to go, Lafayette Hill challenge one from the rail by Via Deer at the pink cap. Then Lagan Gwilgan, Lady Wannabe, Valambrosa, Nelly Anthus, and then I remember you and Firefly racing just outside the furlong point. And it's Via Deer and Lady Wannabe on the outside. Lagan Gwilgan is battling on in between horses. Then I remember you as they race inside the final 200 yards. And it's on the far side, Via Deer. Stand side is Lady Wannabe and Lagan Gwilgan in between horses. That's one quick double for Colin Kanger lines via dear to the top weight beats Lady Wannabe and Lagan Goelga I remember you and Elianthus Racing inside the final three in the Theorem Excellence and Equine Nutrition Handicap for Hoyen. Texas Rock on the outside coming there in between the pair is Jassar. Not much between these three with a furling and a half to go. Then Flight Risk and Annie Fierce and Brillard's Bay Turbine. And then comes Freescape as Jassar goes for home. And racing inside the final 200 yards, it's Jassar and Andy Slattery in front with Flight Risk, the top weight gone after him. Then comes for Hoyen, the running towards the finish. Jassar will compliment his maiden win under Andy Slattery. Flight risk, Texas Rock followed in by Verhoyen and then Annie Fear. Racing inside the final three in the Theorem 
excellence in equine nutrition handicap for Hoyan. Texas Rock on the outside coming there in between the pair is Jassar. Not much between these three with a furling and a half to go. Then Flight Risk and Annie Fierce and Brillard's Bay Turbine and then comes Freescape as Jassar goes for home. And racing inside the final 200 yards it's Jassar and Andy Slattery in front with Flight Risk the top weight gone after him. Then comes Verhoyen the running towards the finish. Jassar will compliment his maiden win and Andy Slattery, Flight Risk, Texas Rock, followed in by Verhoyen, and then Annie Fear. They've got two to go. Buckhurst just hits the front from USS Michigan. Constantinople is just behind them. And then comes Bold Approach. Antilles dropping right out of contention is Tin and Daly. It's Buckhurst in front from Constantinople and USS Michigan as they race inside the last half furlong. Buckhurst and Thanak O'Brien from Constantinople closing with every single stride under Ryan Moore to get up and win it. The Kenny Gold Gallinul stakes. Constantinople gets up to beat Buckhurst, a break to USS Michigan, and then Antilles as the O'Briens dominate the finish. They've got two to go. Buckhurst just hits the front from USS Michigan. Constantinople is just behind them. And then comes Bold Approach. Antilles dropping right out of contention is Tin and Daly. It's Buckhurst in front from Constantinople and USS Michigan as they race inside the last half furlong. Buckhurst and Thanak O'Brien from Constantinople closing with every single stride under Ryan Moore to get up and win it. The Kenny Gold Gallinul stay Constantinople gets up to beat Buckhurst, a break to USS Michigan, and then Antilles as the O'Briens dominate the finish. In front of Independent Missy, G-Rex has come under pressure. Then Sunail in the centre of the track in the nose band. Far rail as Royal Court in high time. You want a step too far. Spread across the track with a furling and a half to go. And it is Sunail in the middle of the track coming to the front from high time. You won Royal Court. And Independent Missy is flashing home on the stand side as they race up towards the finish. Independent Missy on the near side has got to Sunail who's battling back as they go to the low. Oh, Sunail and Independent Missy. Missy, that's one for the judge. Third is high time you won, then Rita Levy and Super Treat. In front of Independent Missy, G-Rex has come under pressure. Then Sunail in the centre of the track in the nose band. Far rail as Royal Court in high time. You won a step too far. Spread across the track with a furling and a half to go. And it is Sunail in the middle of the track. Coming to the front from high time. You won Royal Court. And Independent Missy is flashing home on the stand side as they race up towards the finish. Independent Missy on the near side has got to Sunail who's battling back as they go to the low. Oh, Sunail and Independent Missy. That's one for the judge. Third is high time you won, then Rita Levy and Super Treat. Arborfield is next with Massalou, Brenze, and Cantador and Anfaz racing inside the two. An editorial is strongly pressed by Muta Dawal in the spots, Latchet on the outside. Then Massalou, Brenze being followed by Dramatized. Treble Cone is trying to run on in the center of the track. Muta Dawal is in front from Latchet, the challenger here on the outside. And the red and white is Treble Cone. Up the rail is Massalou, Brenze. Muta Dawal with Treble Cone on the near side. Latchet in between them. Latchet, Treble Cone, and Muta Dowell, it's gone to the judge in the last, and then Massalou Brenze in edification. Arborfield is next with Massalou Brenze and Cantador and Anfaz racing inside the two. An editorial is strongly pressed by Muta Dawal in the spots. Latchet on the outside. Then Massalou Brenze being followed by Dramatized. Treble Cone is trying to run on in the center of the track. Muta Dawal is in front from Latchet, the challenger here on the outside. And the red and white is Treble Cone. Up the rail is Massalou Brenze. Muta Dawal with Treble Cone on the near side. Latchet in between them. Latchet, Treble Cone. And Motor Dowell, it's gone to the judge in the last, and then Massalou Brenze in edification.